right, y'all, we fish to make our cornbread dressing. You need to get a pot. And I'm using um, six chicken legs. You can use any kind of chicken part, turkey part that you want, okay? All right. I'm going to add some water. Then, I have one container of um, chicken broth. I'm going to add that. Help flavor my chicken. I like to put some in my chicken while it's cooking. Not a whole lot, but just a little. And you guys know me. Gotta have it. Gotta have a ranch. Just a little. Now. I'm gonna add a little bit of original Miss Dash. Just a little. Nothing else. Now I'm gonna let this boil, okay? Now, we're gonna make our cornbread. Homemade cornbread for our dressing, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead, I have a boiler here, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my eggs over here. My fresh eggs, boiling. That's three, four. I'm putting five eggs. Get them boiling. All right, you need your cornmeal. Why well, soap rising flour? Hold right, on, guys. Let me get the cornmeal. Got the cornmeal. Y'all. Sorry. I use Martha White cornmeal. Let me measure so I can tell y'all how much to make. Because I'm not making a great big pan of um, dressing. Um, this is a half a cup. So, one. 
That's one cup. All right, two and a half cups of cornmeal. Self rising flour. Put a half a cup. Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and put two teas two teaspoons of butter into my chicken while it's cooking. Gotta have butter. Now, I want to take one egg and put it in there. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. If you got lard, you can add lard. Add a little bit of oil back there in my skillet. Let me get bake. 375 start. All right, let me get some... Um, I'm going to use a little bit of my half and half in my cornbread. And I'm adding, because I don't have any buttermilk. So, I'm going to add a spoon of mayo. Blue plate. <clears throat> and I'm going to get a little bit of water. Stir this up. Need just a tad more water. Mix it really good. Now, we're going to take and spread that oil around in my cast iron skillet back here. Get it in there real good. All right. I'm gonna put my cornbread in the oven and This is all the cornbread I'm going to make for my dressing. Get all that goodness. You want all of it. Don't know, ain't no need of wasting, y'all. Right. 
We're going to put this in the oven at 375 until our cornbread is nice golden brown. Then I'll come back and show you guys what we do next. All right, guys, now the cornbread and chicken is done. I'm going to take my chicken out, let it cool down. And don't throw your broth away because that's what we're going to use in our dressing. I'm gonna take my pan of cornbread. I'm gonna dump it in here. Okay. Hold on. Cornbread stick. I guess I didn't put enough. Oh, in it. There we go. It was just stuck, so it's just took out of the oven. There we go. I got my eggs over here in the sink cooling off. I'm gonna take my cornbread. Shred it up, mix it up. I gotta cut my celery, my bell peppers, my onion, my eggs. I gotta put my cream of chicken soup in here. This is just one pan of cornbread. Cream of chicken soup. Ooh, that oven's still hot. I like to put this in because it makes it more creamier. That way I don't like them off. We're gonna get our celery chopped up. You can boil your um, celery with your chicken. But I didn't. Some people don't put the green part in there. I do. Shred it. I just decided not to boil it with the um, chicken. I 
And we're going to slice it up like we did the for the corn salad. up in here chopped up added I just don't like the strings on the um, celery. Now, I have got my uh, um, turkey over here in the um, sink. I have it uh, sitting in water because I wanted to thaw it out. Had it sitting in the fridge since yesterday, and it's thawed out. But I'm gonna take the giblets out, the heart and all that stuff out of the turkey, and that's what I'm gonna add to. Um, oh, no, I didn't. I did. Ah. You guys, you know what I did? I forgot to get the cream of chicken for my, um, my soup gravy. Oh, well, I think I have a can of cream of chicken with the mushrooms. That'll work. Or unless I run in the morning and get a can. I don't want to go tonight. You get no cream of cheese. All right, let me grab my bell peppers. And my onion. I'm using the rest of that bell pepper that I put um, earlier. I gotta peel my eggs. I won't take and um, bore you guys while I take and peel my eggs. No, guys, you can keep those seeds and um, plant them, right? Have your own bell pepper plant. You guys gonna have a great Thanksgiving now my dressing I'm not gonna cook it till in the morning I'm gonna cover it and stick it in the fridge and just let everything kind of marinate together it really makes it delicious all right this onion and when I 
come back, I'll have all the chicken um, shredded and I'll put it in here and show you guys what I do. And I'll put in the spices after I get the chicken and eggs done. That's just one small onion. Clean up my mess. All right, y'all. We got the chicken shredded and um, the eggs shut on um, the shells off. Here's all the chicken. So I'm gonna put that in. Now, I'm gonna grab some of these eggs and get them chopped up. You really don't have to be perfect on the eggs because um, when it's cooking and you start stirring this up, it's gonna cook down. They'll cook apart. Just dice them up. You can try to get them as you want. Now I'm going to take some of this chicken broth over here after I get through with this and what we're going to do is we're going to add, start adding a little bit at a time of our broth to our dressing because we want to make sure that it's not dry even though you add the cream of chicken. I'll start putting our spices in our dressing. And these are fresh eggs from my chickens. this in dish on the wash machine we're gonna add some sage y'all know that ain't enough sage we're gonna be adding more I'm adding a little bit of my ranch I didn't have much left in it all right this is a half a cup Two cups of broth. We're gonna mix all this up. God, this is a lot. My mama told me I was gonna wind up having to add some light bread. She says that one bread, loaf of bread, corn, pan of cornbread ain't gonna be enough. Y'all see this? <laughs> this is a lot of dressing. But I'm making a lot because, you know, this is what, um, all right, that is three cups of broth. Because, I mean, this is going to be enough for us that we can eat on a couple of days, you know, that your girl ain't going to cook. Alright, 
we need one more cup. So that's four. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And I'm going to add a little bit more sage because I don't think it's enough in there yet. Mix that up. When you're adding your sage, make sure you add a little bit at a time because you don't want to add too much because you can't take it out. Alright. Get my salt. Black pepper. We're gonna stir this up and then we're gonna taste it. <coughs> oh my goodness. Goodness. Excuse me. Perfect. I need a little bit more sage. Not much. And guys, you can add as much sage, as much salt, black pepper as you want. But this is how we make our dressing. Here in Mississippi. Alright. Here we go. See, that's a lot of dressing. in your pan. Get it even. Now, the broth that's left from boiling the chicken, I'm going to keep it because it's gonna, I'm going to use it, um, some of it in my, um, when I boil my um, giblets and stuff, I'm going to boil it in that. All right, guys, that is my dressing. Put it some tin foil on it. I'm going to stick mine in the fridge. <clears throat> now, tomorrow when I start sticking in this in the fridge, I mean the oven, I will be taking and putting it on 375. And it's heated all the way through then I remove the foil and leave it in there for an extra five ten minutes to um, get the top brown and crusty and that's it that's my dressing guys <laughs>